Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where learning art is fun. I'm Sarah and in today's video I'm going to show you how I paint some fruit on some stones or rocks and I decided to choose an avocado and a lemon but of course you can do whatever you like if you want to try this at home but let me know in the comments box whether you tried it or if you tried something else. I've also got a couple of examples of other rock painting fruit that I've done so if you hang on till the end of the video you can see what I did for those and I will also link in the card above some other of my stone painting videos if you want to go and check those out as well. I'll also put all the items that I used in the description box below if you want to go and see which items I used. So I started off with the avocado and I began just by adding a dark green outside to the avocado and with this one because it was quite dark it didn't need too many layers but obviously if you're doing a lighter fruit or if your stone's slightly darker you may need to add a couple more layers. So the main challenge for the avocado was to try and get a really nice gradient or seamless blend between the greens on the outside going towards the yellows on the inside. So I began just by blocking out some main colours just to build up those layers so the colour of the stone didn't show through. And then once that was dry I then went on to do a pale green outside around the centre. And just mixing the colours in so that they were really nice and creamy, just like an avocado. And then to get that nice gradient or seamless blend, it was a case of rather than waiting for those layers to dry, kind of blending them in and mixing them together whilst they were still slightly wet. I use acrylic paint which does dry really quickly, but if you work quite quickly then you can mix them together while they're still both wet. And then in between layers I then started the second stone painting which was the lemon and I just did a plain white base coat for that but it did need several coats. So I tend to alternate between a flat brush to put on the base coats and do the larger areas and then when I want to do some details I use a smaller round brush. So while my avocado was drying I then moved on to the lemon and I just began by doing the outside rind in yellow and making sure the white was dry underneath. I then went in with a smaller paintbrush and freehand drew the segments on inside. If you want to be really neat about it, you can outline them in pencil first and, and that will make sure that you get them all even, but I just decided to do it freehand. And having the white base coat was really helpful to make sure those yellows really stood out nice and brightly. And once my avocado was dry and while my lemon was drying, it was then time to add the central stone to the avocado. So again I just did this freehand but if you want to, you can draw an outline in pencil or pen first. And I did decide with this stone that it was quite a bit too big so as is good with any acrylic or stone painting you can change up and layer over to adjust your painting. So once that first coat was dry I then went over with a slightly darker brown colour for the outside edge of the stone for the avocado. And that was a bit more of a watery mixture which helped to make the outside darker and then gradually transition to the centre. So it's more of a glaze. So then moving back onto the lemon and I decided to add a little bit of texture just by putting in some slightly darker yellow orangey colours just to make it look a little bit more realistic. Now I did wonder with this um, particular little project whether or not to add some character faces to my fruit 
I chose not to just to keep them realistic and simple but that might be something that you want to try at home if you're doing this but being that I couldn't decide I thought I'd leave it perhaps let me know if you think I should have put some funny faces or characters onto the fruit after I'd finished So then with the lemon just adding a really light glaze so that's a watery mix of the yellow all over the inside to make it look a bit more realistic and then as I like to do I just went in with my fine liners just to neaten up some of those edges. don't forget to let me know what you thought of this video like comment and subscribe to my channel and if you've got any ideas for anything else you'd like to see me paint or indeed any ideas for future videos then please drop a comment in the box below so just finishing off the avocado now just by going around that central stone and making it look a little bit more realistic so it stands out And here's some examples of a couple of others I did, a kiwi and a strawberry. So that's all for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!